Hey yogis, I'm Melanie and it's Feel Good Friday. Welcome to Nova Yoga Studio. Welcome to St. John's Newfoundland. And today I have a sequence for all you desk dwellers. So for those of you who do a lot of sitting, a lot of computer work, this is for you to get you moving and feeling fine. So let's make our way to the mat. And we're gonna start in hands and knees. So we're gonna start with some really nice spinal movement to start to remove any stiffness, any rigidity. So we're gonna take the wrists under the shoulders, the knees under the hips, spreading the fingers wide. Inhale, cow pose, so the belly drops, the tailbone and the chest lifts as you look forward. Then exhale, press into the ground, round your spine, gazing between the legs. Inhale, opening up. And exhale, rounding. We'll take that a few more times. Inhale. Exhale. And it's said that we're only as young as our spine is flexible. So these spinal waves will help us to, to keep feeling youthful and mobile. One more round. And just from a neutral place, we'll curl the toes under, we'll lift the hips up and back, coming into downward facing dog. We'll take this pulsation of the heels, which, which will allow for a deeper stretch of the back of the legs, which might feel tight if you've been sitting a lot. So inhale, heels lift. Then exhale, heels release. Just let them melt down. Try not to jam them down. Inhale, heels lifting. Exhale, heels releasing. One more time, inhale. And exhale. And then you're gonna bend both knees. Let's walk the hands back to the feet. So you're gonna travel to the back of the mat. And once you're there, then just hang out in your ragdoll so your knees are bent, your spine relaxes forward, and give yourself just a little sway, a little shake. And then you're going to interlace the fingers behind the back. So connecting the hands, working towards straighter arms as the shoulders lift up away from the ears. And this should feel really yummy. And let's roll up the spine. So we're going to roll up to stand and keep that connection of the hands and as you reach the top you're going to take your shoulders back lift your chest up standing back bend and then you're going to bend your knees take it forward into the fold knuckles to the sky and rolling up again and the standing back bend will be a nice counter pose to a lot of the rounding forward we tend to do Last time. Rolling all the way up. At the top, lifting your chest. And then take the arms wide out and up. And bring your hands down through the middle of the body. And release your arms by your side. And walking forward to the top of the mat. So let's take on a sun breath. And we'll move into a standing pose or two. So standing in mountain pose at the top of the mat. With your inhale, reach the arms wide, out and up. Then as you exhale, take the arms wide, bring your hands to the back of your thighs, and massage down the length of your legs, giving your hamstrings some love. Inhale, half lift of the spine. And as you exhale, take your hands underneath your feet. So you're going to take the whole length of each palm underneath each foot. So you're standing on your hands, gorilla pose. And you want your toes to actually touch your wrist. So even if you need to bend your knees a lot, get your hands under there. And this acts as a really nice counter pose for the wrists. Also works to stretch out the forearms and just let yourself hang here for a moment in the fold. And 
releasing your hands, touch the fingertips down, and you're going to step your right leg back behind you into your warrior two. So the right foot steps back, the heel ground, so the foot is parallel with the back of the mat. Front knee is bent, windmill the arms open, and rise up into your warrior. So just check out your alignment, adjust as you need. Have the knee directly over the ankle, never extending past. And as you look down, you can always see the big toe of the front foot. So your hips are open, your chest is open. Sweep the arms out and just draw in a little bit more through your center. Open up that front palm. Inhale, big stretch back into peaceful warrior. And exhale, just landing here in your warrior two. And then take it again, back into peaceful. And exhale, warrior. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Let's hold the warrior and then straighten the front leg. Parallel the edges of your feet. Breathe in, stand tall. Exhale, hinge at your hips. Come into this wide leg forward fold. Bring your fingers in line with your toes. Lift your spine halfway. Bow down into the fold and hold on to your ankles. Keep your thighs active and strong. Shift a little more weight forward into your toes. That will stack your hips over your heels and allow you to experience more in terms of release and stretchy goodness. And then take your hands to the mat in front of you. Turn your left toes forward. Walk your hands forward to frame your foot. Pivot onto the ball of your back foot and smoothly step up. Back foot meets the front foot. Fold, ragdoll, bend your knees, relax neck and head. And then roll all the way up the spine, all the way to standing. And then let your head float up. Inhale, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, roll them down the back. Again, inhale, shoulders rising. Exhale, feel all tension in that area just completely dissolving. Inhale. Exhale. Two more rounds on your own. And finding your mountain pose. And let's repeat that sequence on the other side, starting with the sun breath. So inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, arms wide, hands to the back of the thighs, massage down the length of the legs. Lift your spine halfway, palms to the shins, or fingers in line with toes. And stepping onto your hands, another round of gorilla pose. So getting the whole hand underneath each foot. Press down with the feet, gently lift up with the hands as you fold. And this might be a nice pose if you have any wrist issues, if you do a lot of typing. And then freeing your hands, pop up onto your fingertips, lift the spine. Then you're going to step your left leg back behind you for your warrior. So root the heel, line up feet, heel to arch, windmill the arms open, and up we rise into the warrior. Open hearts, open hips, even through the arms, strong through your center. And then open that front palm, inhale, reach back, peaceful. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. And one more time. Big juicy side stretch. And warrior two. And then straighten the front leg. Parallel the edges of your feet. Take a breath in. Stand tall. Exhale. Hinge and fold. And this time... In the fold, we're going to turn the fingers in the opposite direction of the toes and we're going to walk the hands all the way between the legs until the arms are straight. And then from there, you're going to put a little bend in the elbows. 
use that position to guide yourself a little deeper in very gently. And breathe into the backs of the legs, an area that can get really tight when we do a lot of sitting in a chair. And the hamstrings can become quite short, so this is a really nice way to lengthen them. And then bring your hands on the mat in front of you. And then turning your right foot forward, walk your hands forward. And we're going to take it back into downward dog, so stepping back. And then from there, come on down to your knees. And you're going to take a seat. We're going to come into bridge. So taking a seat, hold onto the back of the thighs, roll back onto the spine. Feet are hip width, arms by your side. You're going to press down to the feet, lift your hips up. And then join your hands underneath you, roll your shoulders underneath your torso. And so you find that nice lift of your chest. So opening up through the chest, the heart, the shoulders. Again, a nice counter pose to a lot of the rounding forward that we tend to do. Releasing the hands, releasing the spine and the hips. And give your knees a little sway from side to side. And bringing both knees into the chest, hug the shins, rolling around on your spine. And we're going to rock forward into seated and sitting in cobbler's pose. So bringing the soles of the feet to touch and drawing the heels in towards the groin. Sit up nice and tall. You can hold your toes, your ankles, or your shins. Inhale, lengthen and exhale to fold. Maybe using your elbows to guide your knees a little deeper down. Or maybe you want to walk your hands more forward. And breathe into the hips, into the groin, and the inner thighs. hip opener, bring your knees together, keep your one knee bent and stretch the other leg out. We're going to twist, so step your foot over your thigh and we're going to twist over the bent knee. So fingertips behind you, inhale, lift the arm, exhale, wrap the arm around the knee and start to, oh, feels good, spin into that twist, really nice release for the spine, every inhale lifts you up. With your exhale, think about twisting from your obliques and letting your heart, your chin, your eyes follow. Never using your arms or your hands to deepen the twist. Your arms and hands are just support, right? So making sure the twist comes from the obliques and travels up. And then unwinding, stretch the leg long, bend the opposite knee, step your foot over your thigh. Fingertips touch down behind you. You can lift the arm up. And then hug the knee in, your inhale lifts you up, and your exhale takes you into that twist. And you can even do a version of this twist sitting in your chair. So if you do do a lot of desk work, take a yoga break. Stretch your arms overhead, roll your shoulders back, twist from side to side in your chair. You will feel so much better. Unwinding from there, and just finding your way into any comfortable position. Take a deep breath in, out through your mouth, and thank yourself for making this time for yourself. I thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Shanti.